about sin is that it is terribly messy. That's an understatement, of course. But when we really get right down to it, we think about the experience of living a human life and the, the toll that sin takes on us. Uh, it's, it's really scary when you think about how much it taints everything we do. So the ancient belief, the ancient understanding within the Christian faith was that baptism, as revealed by the Lord to us, baptism washes original sin away. It washes away the stain of sin that Adam and Eve left on our human nature. But that's not the end, right? Because we can run out and get dirty again. We all have free will. We can go and we can choose to reject God. We can choose to personally sin and to, uh, in many different ways, right? Uh, this, this thought came to me the other day, reading in John chapter 13, where Jesus washes his disciples' feet. And if you remember this scene, it's the Last Supper. Jesus gets up and he takes his outer garment off. He puts a towel around his waist and he goes around and he starts washing the disciples' feet. Now, far from just some uh, uh, pious or, or sort of uh, just, just nice you know, little gesture that he's doing for them from a, a, a sort of a hospitality uh, perspective, this is much deeper. And in fact, uh, when we read here, listen to this, he goes to Simon Peter, <clears throat> and he says um, that he, uh, he, he gets to Simon Peter, and Peter says to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered and said, what I'm doing you do not understand now, but you will understand later. And this is so beautiful. I always, always love this. Peter says, you will never wash my feet. You know, Peter's trying to uh, resist Christ here, you know, because he doesn't feel worthy. And then Jesus is very clear. And, and listen to this. Jesus says, unless I wash you, you have no part with me. Some translations say you have no inheritance with me. It's very stark, right? Jesus doesn't say... Well, you know, like, if, if you're okay with it, you know, I'd like to wash your feet. But it's, you know, it's no big deal. You know, you're okay, I'm okay. Right? He doesn't say that. He says, unless I wash you, you have no part with me. Or you have no inheritance with me. It's very clear. There's no two ways about this for Christ. Faced with that, what does Peter say? At the thought of not being with Jesus, at the thought of somehow being separated from the Lord, Peter says, that beautiful line, he says, um, Master, then not only my feet but my hands and my head as well. This beautiful submission to the will of God. But then, very interestingly enough, right at the end here, what does Jesus say? Jesus said to him, Whoever has bathed has no need except to have his feet washed, for he is clean all over. This is very important. What's he talking about here? This is a little hint at baptism. That you have been washed. The waters of baptism have washed you totally right? Uh, not just on the outside, but it truly, it's not just a symbol, it's not just a, a sort of a ceremony that's a demonstration of our, an, an, our interior commitment to Christ. That's not what it is. Baptism has always been understood by Christ's church to be the efficacious, sacramental washing away of the stain of original sin. That it actually does what it's symbolizing through the water, through the, through the ceremony itself. That truly, spiritually, I am restored to right relationship with God. That I have this moment of, of justification that opens the doorway to a life of sanctification, which does not end there, but begins. So, Jesus washes his disciples' feet. He's, symboli he's symbolizing here that there is going to need to be periodic rewashing. Not the whole body, in this case but our feet. And why the feet? It's the dirtiest part of us. In the ancient sort of ways here, right? the ancient uh, context here, you go out, you're walking in sandals or maybe bare feet through the dusty ground, your feet are dirty, you get where you're going, you need to have your feet washed. Just like us. As we traipse around in our human life, uh, we commit sins on a daily basis. I know I do. I don't want to, but you know, it's, it's a habit. It's hard to break, and you can't do it alone. So, we need the Lord's mercy, we need the Lord's forgiveness every single day. We have the penitential rite at the beginning of every Mass, which is the foot washing, where we confess to Almighty God and to our brothers and sisters, you know, through our own fault we have sinned, we ask for the Lord's mercy, and He washes it away. He washes our sins away. He washes our venial sins away every time at Mass. Mortal sins to a whole you know, higher degree of separation from God, and we commit a very grave sin, which scripture, scripture speaks of, we have the Sacrament of Reconciliation, which washes away venial sin and restores our baptismal grace. It washes away that mortal sin as well.
penance. We have to uh, let the Lord work with us. Some washing, you know, he just pours the water on our feet, so to speak, and the dirt goes away, right? That's like the venial sin, I think. Some need some scrubbing. Some, there's some caked dirt, there's some other stuff, some gross stuff, whatever it is. And as I've been reflecting on this passage here the last few days, I think that is really something for us to keep in mind when it comes to the role of mercy, the role of forgiveness, the role that the Lord has, primarily the Lord, and we just participate, that's all we do, participating in allowing him to wash us clean of our sins, to restore us to right relationship with him, so that we can be about the business of living out the life that he always wills for us to live. So, just something to think about today. Ask the Lord to wash your sins away today. If you have mortal sin on your conscience, or even a venial sin that you just want to kind of get rid of it, right? Go to confession. Look it up online. You can find mass uh, and, and confession times uh, all over the place. So, find a parish, call a priest, call you know whoever at the parish can get you in touch with a priest to uh, set up a time for confession. Why stay dirty? Why stay caked with all that stuff when the Lord is so willing, so desirous to wash us free from all of our sins? So, keep that in mind today. God bless you. I'm praying for you. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I'm Mike, and until next time, don't forget to wonder. God bless.